Good morning. I thought it would be fun today to create like a mini vlog, just a day in the life, <laughs> a very well-trodden format. Um, but I thought I would show you like a fun, this is like a pretty fun day in my life, a pretty fun average day. So um, starting off with the dentist, um, but after that it just gets better. A few things on deck. Um, I'm gonna take my new camera to the beach. Um, I really want to photograph seagulls. <laughs> That's so weird, but um, I just like love the look of like a winter beach with seagulls. It just so I'm gonna look for some seagulls, and then I want to do a little bit of thrifting, um, kind of reorganize. I just got a dresser, so I want to like put everything in there, reorganize my closet. Um, I have some fun unboxings to do. I bought some stuff from Madewell, so I'm really excited to open that. Um, and some other fun things to sprinkle along through this day. So I think it's gonna be a fun one. Um, I'm kind of at the tail end of my off season. Things are about to get started really in earnest. So this is me just like really soaking in, having the freedom of my full day, not really taken up by shoots or anything. So let's You have been on this journey um, pretty much since January. Um, so, you, so many of the things in my home right now you've seen me acquire, including this little mug that I got from Cleveland. But all these like different like thrifted treasures. I'm looking at the, the scallop right now that I got um, during the antiquing vlog. I feel like you're all a part of it. So that's really special and fun. Um, just to, like slowly watch the house kind of come together. You know, there's still rooms that need everything. Um, but I've kind of taken like a little bit of a break from like acquiring because I just want to like really settle into the space even more, see what I really need and not be so quick to just like fill it up with stuff. Um, again, I have come to terms with the fact that like there's no such thing as timeless. Time is not something to be um, feared in terms of like style and decor, like it's, you're okay, like your stuff will be dated at some point, um, but that's not always a bad thing. And I I think I was afraid of doing anything that was like slightly trendy because then I'm like, then it's gonna be out and I'm gonna be look, I'll look like a fool. <laughs> but I've gotten over that. Um, there's certain things that are like trendy that I love. Um, but also just being mindful not to like buy everything all at once because then it just looks so much of that even year. Um, so just trying to slow things down um, and really I think we have everything that we need right now so everything else is just kind of like adding on and nice and creative and um, we have a lifetime to do that because we're not moving out of this house anytime soon. I gotta brush my teeth, get ready for the dentist, get coffee breath. Also, one more thing, my skin freaked out because I think when I was in California, it was so dry. Also, I drank a lot of coffee, more than I think I even realized. Like I knew it was a lot at the time, but I didn't really realize how much it was at the time for consecutive days. So I got home and I've like been having like with caffeine withdrawals. I mean, I'm obviously still having my cup a day, but I'm really trying to cut down. And I just wasn't drinking, like I was drinking some water, but I didn't have my Stanley where I'm used to drinking like 80 ounces a day. I usually fill that thing up twice, but I forgot it at a friend's house. So I feel like lost without it. And I really, it turns out the straw is everything to me. And yeah, so the, the abundance of caffeine, the lack of water really turns out that did wreak havoc on my skin. So we're trying to repair, we're trying to heal. Okay, so I just finished up at the dentist. As you can see, like this side of my face is uh, quite a little upsided. Um, I feel like I have a lot of sensitivity in my teeth. Um, so I always have to get more Novocaine. Um, also just like the anxiety of it maybe hurting <laughs> makes me think that it's hurting more than it does. And yeah, it's fun to talk sideways. But I'm at the beach and it's so windy, um, but that might make for cool pictures. And I'm hoping I'll find some seagulls. I'll let you know how it goes.
Okay, I'm very excited about the things I found at the thrift store. I went with no expectations. I was like, you know what? They just like mix up their clothes a lot, which is fun. Um, so I was like, I just like to browse a little, just for the experience of it. Me explaining thrifting. Um, but I found a lot of great art for this very room. As you know, there is a antique kind of flower garden motif. First is this cool painting print situation. These guys look like little thistles. Next, I actually have another one of these that I have in the kitchen right now. And I saw this one, I think originally, but I came back for it because I really love how it looks in the kitchen. It's kind of like a darker um, peony moment. Very cool. And then best for last, I love this shit. I am such a sucker for um, embroidered things. We have this beautiful, um, <laughs> it's $30, um, beautiful embroidered flower situation. So cool. Um, so I'm very excited to put these in their home. And then I got two clothing items. That's a lie. I got two clothing items and one bag. Okay, I'll start with the bag. How fun is this? I just feel like this is, this could make like a normal casual cute outfit like very just extra. It's like old lady carpet bag, but I love the like tea candles. Ugh, great size. Put my camera in here. Just have this around my shoulder. Easy peasy. Lemon breezy. Is that? That doesn't sound right. Um, and next up is more merch from Stubbies. You know, this appears to be a very normal shirt on one side, but on the back is this fun, funky skull situation. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, Stubbies is like the go-to late night kind of fast food joint since we don't have any. It's like the place you wanna go to get waffle fries. Their waffle fries are amazing and it's on the strip um, in town. This was in the, five, in the sales section for $5. Speaking of florals, ta-da, how cool. As you can see, there's like nice little texture going on here. Yeah, very excited about this. Really cute. I feel like this could be cute with a skirt. Unfortunately, I own no skirts, so <laughs> that won't be happening. But some pants, I suppose. Um, or I wonder if it's long enough to wear, like, nah. I was gonna say, like, as a dress, um, but maybe with some, like, biker shorts or something. But those are my thrifted treasures. Um, I was very pleasantly surprised. Um, love all the art. I'm very excited to hang that up. This is what everything looks like right now. So I'm thinking down here, up here, and probably here. That way we'll really fill out this corner and I really just need something there. Also, I've had a pack, like a six packs of these square frames um, that I wanted to use for my um, bedroom, but I haven't had anything to put in them. So I just ordered um, prints from California for my new camera. So I think it'll be really cool, kind of like a vintage postcard feel. And I'll just hang them up in a corner, probably where we put like our hamper. Or I actually just got a dresser. <laughs> so exciting. Um, and so maybe like I'll hang it above the dresser. Okay, just got done with the kind of like work portion of my day. And I was going to uh, do a bar class online, but I'm just not really feeling it right now. Um, I'm still so tired from California. I think I mentioned this, I like way overdid it on the caffeine. I feel like I definitely said all of this before. Um, still feeling super tired from um, California. So I just, I'm, it, you know when you're just like, you can feel what your body wants, she wants a walk. And I thought it was gonna be too cold earlier today, but the wind kind of died down and it's still sunny and I just layered up and um, a walk sounds really nice. And I don't really feel like walking as much as I did yesterday because um, I spent kind of like all day outside, which is great. Um, but I'm gonna go for a little walk, just move the old bod.
LOL at my braids. At this point, they have completely deteriorated. After all these years, Trilogy still slaps, absolutely. Okay, I'm in bed. Um, I know, and I'm doing, you know, editing some photos. It's like fun work. I don't know why I'm putting it in quotes. It just is what it is. Um, I know people say like you're not supposed to do anything computer. <laughs> you can see the artificial glow um, beaming onto my eyes, but you're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do all this stuff in bed. But my bed is very comfortable and I want to be in my bed but I'm also want to edit my photos. So there's the dilemma. I'm doing that and you know what? Tomorrow I'm gonna show you the unboxing because I just lost light and I was like, you know what? This stuff would look cuter in natural lighting. Um, so we're gonna do that tomorrow. Morning, it's the next day, sitting down for my favorite part of the day, coffee my little couch. This is some of the spring stuff I ordered from Madewell. I'm super excited. I was influenced. Someone had the most adorable vest, so I went on to get it, and then I found a few other cute things along the way that are great spring basics, so we're gonna try them on. Okay, up first are these pants. I'm obsessed. They fit really well. I mean, I always have a little bit of a waist gap, but there's not as much. They definitely get tighter on the, around the waist. My belly button is like here. So it really goes all the way up. I feel like it looks great with like something cropped like this. Um, like the wide leg at the bottom, I feel like these would look great with a lot of like boots or sandals, um, like a chunky sandal or sneakers. Um, like hits me at a good length. I really like these. It's kind of, I mean, it looks whiter, I think probably on screen. It's more of like an ecru kind of cream color. I have some pants that are similar, but I like the wide leg and I don't have anything with these cute pockets, which I feel like is a really flattering detail for up front where I do have a lot of space to work with. You know what I'm saying? Next up is this chunky knit. I got, a, oh, and for these I got a size 26, which is not my normal size whatsoever. I was just reading the reviews and they ran pretty big. Like I would say I'm between a 27 and a 28, um, but with Madewell, I always, size down. So if you're someone who's between 27, I think I'm like a 28 in Levi's and I'm a 26 in these. So, you know, do your calculations. I, every company has such different sizing. For this, I got a small, I read the reviews, it was oversized. I'm actually surprised it's not as oversized as I thought it would be, but I love the texture. I love the details like around the collar and they kind of have a balloon sleeve and a nice thick sleeve here. And I love this ending detail. This feels like the kind of sweater Again, this is very Nantucket of me, but it feels like old school, like the film photos I would find from the 70s kind of Nantucket vibes. Um, obviously I'll try it on for real, but it's a great, <laughs> again, I'm showing my Nantucket, but it's a great shoulder sweater if you're that kind of gal. I never used to be a shoulder sweater person till recently. I just feel like it can add a lot to an outfit um, and it's nice if you're going out. It's a good little layering moment when you're like between Hot and cold. It honestly looks kind of nice untucked. Obviously it does hit at like one of my wider points so a lot of people would want to tuck but I don't really mind that. Um, I just like the the end. It's like a nice, I like the kind of openness. I love the drop shoulder. I love where the stripes start. Um, I probably would do a little French tuck most of the time. Do one of these. Yeah, I really like this sweater. I wasn't sure if I should have gotten a bigger size at first, but I think this is good. And yes, I did save my favorite thing for last. This is why I placed the order in the first place. Is this darling floral quilted vest moment. Oh, I love this thing so much. I feel like there's definitely a 70s vibe this year going on um, in a lot of the trends that I'm seeing and I love it. If I was someone who could sew, I think this would be a really fun piece just to make on my own. It's not like, you know, it's very thin. It's a little pricey for what it is. But I love it and I love the style and honestly, it's kind of the price that I know, price point I noticed around when I was shopping around for something that was similar. 
um but i i'm obsessed like i think it's so cute so cute with these pants Ugh, this is just like screaming spring i'll be able to wear this like i love it under a t-shirt i could wear a tank top under just with shorts like over a dress would be really cute like over um a white dress or something in the summer i this is just gonna add a lot of like fun and flair to my usual classic kind of look so i'm very excited i could even see like layering a jacket over this Ugh, i feel like the possibilities are endless with something like this it's so fun so three for three from madewell i'm very stoked okay the brand soko just sent me some jewelry these are so pretty i love these big dangle earrings and then this is a fun little like layering necklace it can be like a little choker I'll try them on. Okay, these are really fun. I feel like it actually goes well with this like top moment, maybe without the without the um, vest for the necklace, but I love. For a long time when I was growing up, I was silver, everything silver only. And then like, I was influenced by the world and now I'm I'm a gold girl. I feel like it works well with my skin tone to do gold because of the warmer undertones i honestly don't even know what my undertones are for being for real for real but i like how i look in gold over silver but i still like silver but i've gone to the gold side now i feel like silver is trendy but i feel like gold will reign supreme but i say that and it's gonna be like two years three years later everything's silver the good thing is i have a lot of both so I'm prepared for whatever, wherever the winds take us. Okay, that is it for this little day in the life. Thank you so much for coming along. Excited to um, show you how these average days evolve over the season. So thanks for coming along um, on this like off season day in the life.